Adam Caspers, field agronomist for Northeastern Iowa. Pat Holloway, field agronomist in Southwest Iowa. So John, this time of year we get a lot of calls on a couple of issues in particular. So would you tell us a lot about what you are showing us there in your hand? Yeah, so I've gotten a fair amount of calls this year, Pat, on purpling corn. And the corn actually turns purple, it's flashing a phosphorus deficiency. So this one here you're going to see a little bit from compaction with those tomahawk roots when I turn it you can see actual sidewall compaction but there are other factors that can drive this the cooler weather shutting down mineralization the genetics can have an effect on it as well as just being cold and not really racking up the gdus so what are the things that you're seeing this year that you're getting calls on yeah and for sure and, and often we get the purple corn syndrome uh, calls first uh, as we're kind of transitioning from a cool spring into to hot weather like we see today. And, and, and those sugars that accumulate, that purpling we see, is often then precedes us. And when we go in this rapid growth stage after about V5, V6, that plant is growing like crazy. And, and we often get calls on rapid growth syndrome, which is also, uh, genetics play a role in that, but it's often when we have a cool period followed by a warm weather, good growing conditions, we see these plants get this this uh, this kind of the whirl wraps up the leaves don't unfurl and we get sometimes even like a shepherd's hook or uh, or uh, buggy whipping we call it also and, and basically it, these the fields will look kind of ugly during this stage and also once those leaves do finally un uncurl and, and come out they'll be a little white or yellow so you see those sporadic plants throughout a field that show that symptomology and so with both the, the purple corn and then the, the rapid growth syndrome, uh, we kind of go through an ugly stage sometimes in some fields and that it creates a lot of calls and, and concerns. But both of these are very transitional usually and the, and the corn is going to grow right through that. Uh, and in a week or so, you won't, uh, won't know what happened. Yeah, you can already see in this one that the new green growth is coming right out of it. So keep an eye out for your whirl whips out in the field. They'll be waving. Thanks. <laughs>